Hey guys, it's Tim coming at you with a brand new episode of The Spotlight, the show where I pose an interesting question or just a general interesting idea and then have you guys take it from there in the comments. So with the MCU being a proven success and DC following suit with their extended universe, one would have to wonder if other comic book publishers would be able to follow suit with similar success. And for today's video, I want to focus on Image Comics, whether or not I feel it could plausibly happen with their characters, and how I would go about doing it if it did. Now the thing with Image is that it was founded on the idea that all the characters and concepts created in each book would be entirely creator-owned. Whereas when the writers and artists who founded Image worked for Marvel, anything they created would defer back to Marvel, and they wouldn't have any ownership over things they created in any book they worked on. And the same with DC as well. Now from a creator perspective, this worked out very well in terms of comic books because they get the full money off of sales, whereas with Marvel and DC, they get paid a set amount regardless of how much the book sells. But with every character and concept under the Image brand being basically owned by a different person, you can pretty much tell what the major problem with building a cinematic universe would be for Image. Because while it's established in the books themselves that all of these characters exist within the same universe, it was what they were trying to do when they first started an image back in the 90s, they continued on forward doing it in books like Invincible, all these characters exist in the same universe in the comic, but when you start getting into the politics of movie making, you start to have the problem of certain creators feeling that they're not getting the amount that they want, or people getting their feelings hurt and backing out, or going over to other companies and losing the rights to particular characters, and it becomes very hard to make a cohesive whole when all the parts are so separated. You can see this with the Spawn movie from back in the 90s, where the character Chapel was a major part of Spawn's backstory in the comics, but because he was created by Rob Liefeld and he didn't give permission to use the character, he couldn't be used in the movie, so they had to make someone else. And you can even see this happening in the comics themselves, like look at Wildstorm with Jim Lee. All the characters that he created under Image with Wildstorm, when he went over to DC, all those characters became DC characters and are now integrated parts of their universe. And the same was done with Angela from Spawn, who is now owned by Marvel and is Thor's half-sister. The point I'm trying to make with this is that even if there's interest over at Image for creating a cinematic universe, because all the characters and concepts are owned by their own creators, it becomes a lot more convoluted and difficult to put them together because you require so many more people to get things going. But let's say that hypothetically all of this worked out and they would be able to make a cinematic universe with all their characters, all the creators agreed, and they were able to get things going. What would be the best way for them to go about doing their cinematic universe? Well, in my opinion, I say that you started off in a similar way to how they did in the 90s. And I know that that sounds sort of sketchy based upon the quality of early image, for the most part anyway, at least with some outliers, but what I mean by this is that you start off the universe with heroes already being established in some way. And with that idea, my two potential starting points are these. You either start off going the Youngblood route, where you have them being a different type of hero than we've seen in movies before, them being more celebrity, them doing things more morally compromised, and then you build your universe off of that with different types of heroes, say, have Savage Dragon or Spawn, and then you can eventually have everyone meet up in some sort of collaboration movie. And with that, you show the differences in these heroes and how they work off of each other to round out the universe a bit more. That's just one option, and it can be done to really differentiate themselves from their competition from Marvel and DC, but I'd say probably my own ideal way for starting it would be starting with Invincible. He's a more traditional hero than the ones I mentioned before, and I feel that there would be a bit more to build off of moving forward as opposed to moving backward from an established team. But still having heroes exist beforehand like the Guardians of the Globe to set the stage for the universe and give it more of a distinct feel than the Marvel and DC universe where their heroes were really the first ones to be active. 
And even with an established universe beforehand, you can still, with Invincible, lead towards a collaboration-style team. In this case, I would opt towards doing the Pact, so you could have your next movies be Fire Breather, Shadow Hawk, and the Noble Family to get all the members of the Pact together, and then really set the universe in motion from the audience perspective with that. But with an already established superhero presence in the world prior to Invincible first showing up, you could have all those elements be in the background of all of these other movies to create an even more cohesive whole out of it. And then with everything really established through doing that, then you can move forward to do things like Savage Dragon and Spawn and the Darkness and Witchblade. And then just keep moving forward like that. But what do you guys think? Is it conceivably possible to even do an Image Cinematic Universe with how Image is set up? And if so, how would you want it to be done? Well. Let us know in the comments, and until next time, this has been Tim from the Spotlight, signing out.